London has a new title under its belt. The city is now the largest area in the world with a price on pollution. In a bid to clean up London's air, the ultra-low emission zone scheme has expanded to encompass the entire capital. Motorists driving anywhere within it with vehicles that do not meet the standards will face a charge of £12.50, taking road rage to a whole new level. It's getting more difficult and now to have to have newer cars to, to put that on top of all the other problems that people are having just to survive. It's, um, it's ridiculous. For them it's going to make money in the local government, but it's not going to help local people. The plan was given the green light nine months ago, yet up to 780,000 motorists in London are still scrambling to sell cars which do not meet minimum emissions standards. In the last six months, almost two million vehicles have changed hands, and that's up by over 70,000 in the same period in 2022. Hanger Lane in West London is one of the UK's busiest roundabouts, carrying up to 10,000 vehicles per hour at peak times. The gyratory has eight lanes of traffic to navigate and is a gateway to London's main ring road. But with the extension of ULES, drivers will now have to avoid this roundabout to avoid the additional cost. The expansion of ULES is to cover all 32 London boroughs and will bring an additional 5 million people into the zone. In a city where the cost of living crisis is already high, it's fueled anger, sparking protests as well as deliberate attacks on ULES cameras. The London Mayor has consistently waved objections aside, maintaining improving air quality is essential. Expanding ULES was a difficult decision for me to take, but it was the right one. And I remain committed to seeing it through. This is not the time to step back, delay or water down vital green policies like ULES, and I'm not prepared to do so. Modelling statistics show it will make a difference, and experts say there is no other way. I wish we were not changing using this very punitive, very punishing methodology of the ULES. But if I don't have anything else that I can apply to cities to save lives and to pull back people's car usage, got no choice, mate. Despite the increased ULES charge driving Londoners around the bend, it's full speed ahead in the city for a greener, cleaner air agenda. Shadi Edwards Dashti, TRT World, London.